Welcome to Le Gatsby, the city of fun and adventure. Hi, I'm Stu, I'm a backpacker from England, traveling from the Philippines all the way back to the United Kingdom uh, over a year period by land and water. I'm currently still in the Philippines because it's only week two of my adventures and I'm in the city of Legazpi. Got here this morning after an overnight bus, uh, traveling through the night. And when I got off, I felt okay-ish. However, God, I'm feeling it now. Now, at the moment, I'm trying to get down to the center of the city because I have been led to believe there is a parade going on. Is this real box? Right, I'm now on the, the main street that leads to the city hall. And this parade that I've been told about is called the Iba Long Festival. And it's a, a festival held in this city every August which is handy because this is now August and it's uh, to celebrate uh, the three legendary heroes I have no idea who they are and it's a non-religious festival which is why I'm trying to find the city hall because that's the sort of place that a festival like that would start off now I did ask in the hostel that I'm staying at where I could go to see this parade, the opening parade of the festival. They knew nothing about it. So, and I don't think there's anything happening around here neither. To the left of me is the cathedral, which I'll probably pop in later on and have a quick look while I'm trying to find this parade, very exciting. And I'm only in the Gatsby for one day. That is my plan. Oh, that looks like a, a bigger road down there. That's the back of the cathedral. So yeah, I'm only here till tomorrow morning. And I feel a bit bad because it's now half one-ish in the afternoon so I have been lazing around trying to get over my bus journey in the hostel this morning and the hostel looks absolutely amazing and that's the festival advertising oh no the, here's the cathedral Yeah, we'll have a better look at it later. Oh, there's a diversion sign down there. That looks awful. I didn't realise I'd be coming here until uh, yesterday lunchtime. Um, it was a last minute decision. Oh, that's a storm coming. I just see loads of lightning going on over there as well. So I've done no research on this place at all. Even though I could have done this morning. I was lazy. Probably the best way to find out about the city is just walk around. Oh, that looks impressive. Well, I've got my watch, it's uh, just after two o'clock. The parade starts at two. There is no music, there's no crowds, there's nothing. Mind you, with the, uh, the thunder and lightning that's happening, 
maybe it's been cancelled. So I've just come off the main road only because I saw a welcome sign. Lots of flags. Oh, there's lots of flags. There's a lot of taxi drivers around here as well, so maybe this is the place to be. Oh, did you see that lightning? I mean, most people have got umbrellas ready. Happy Fiesta. Yay! Oh. It's a school. <laughs> oh well. That's why they got the flags out. Because the kids are at school. So I've just done a quick search online about the Gatsby and it's starting to become more and more touristy and they're trying to sell the place as an adventure place you've got a volcano that you can climb um, and I'll find out the name of it later and you've got ATV tours climbing tours adventurous stuff so I'm going back to the main street. Now I could do more research and just do the touristy stuff. The cathedral, the city hall, the Spanish stuff that was being there for 300 years, but with me you get to see the streets, the people, and the traffic. Always traffic in the Philippines, but no parade yet. Unfortunately, the rain is starting to come down. It is rainy season, so it is to be expected. So I think I should go get out of this rain before it starts going harder down on me. So I might have to find a coffee place. So I've just had a coffee frappe from the coffee club behind us while I kept up the rain. Now it's come to a light little shower happening. It was really come down earlier. Um, and having been here for over a week and a half, I know this weather that it fools you to think it's over and all of a sudden it just hides it back down again. So I'm gonna do the sensible thing and head back to the hostel. Now it is time for me to check in to my room. Uh, check in was at two o'clock. I came out before two o'clock and I'll give me a chance to show you what this hostel's like and explain to you why I prefer hostel life to hotel life. But yeah, everyone's still got their umbrellas on. Oh. And I am walking slowly because in the rain over here so far, I've slipped over twice. Once hurting my leg so hard that I had to sit down. But uh, it's a 15, 20 minute walk back to the hostel. So I'll see you there. Let's hope it didn't start raining while I'm going. I'm now back at the hostel and halfway back, the heavens opened again 
uh, the rain came down a little bit hard. I was protected by my baseball cap. Um, it stopped again. You can hear that thunder. This is lightning that keeps coming through. There's blue skies up there. Well, bits of it. So let me show you around the hostel. I think I am the only one staying here at this moment. Now, this is off season and this is getting more and more popular uh, by the year. And this is an eight man room that I've got to myself. Um, I've already had a lie down, it's comfortable. All hostels will have lockers for you to put your stuff away. I never do because I'm a trustworthy person and I trust everybody that's with me that I won't get my stuff stolen. But because I've got the place to myself, I think I'm gonna be okay. Now, it's about time they've got music going on full blast just outside the reception area. So we're gonna have a walk to the roof area and this is where they do free breakfast. So free breakfast in the mornings. I was told there's a rooftop. Uh, <coughs> backpackers. So Mayon, backpackers, hostel. Uh, and see me from the rooftop, you can get a good view of the volcano. And I'm just to find it. I mean, I'm not too sure if I'm allowed up here or not. So why do I prefer hostel life to hotel life? Now I've been to a lot of hostels around the world, uh, mainly in South Central America, Southeast Asia, uh, not, in fact, not in Europe, mainly because they are very expensive. But you'll find that when you go to a place that's got no hostels and it's only got cheap hotels, you will get a single room. Um, that's not very clean. Um, there's not a sociable area and sociable vibe. People are there to get you in your room and uh, make sure that you leave on time the next morning. Hostel life is different. Hostel around um, Southeast Asia uh, especially is for backpackers. It's for people who are traveling. Uh, mainly Europeans, Australians, Americans. They come here to have information about the place and already downstairs there's a map of the, the town dotted with uh, stuff you can see. Not seen in a hotel at all over here in the Philippines so far. Uh, there's always somewhere you can sit down, chill, relax, um, usually bean bags, soft chairs, uh, there is one downstairs, which is really nice. And this place is especially good because it's got a kitchen that you can use. So instead of going out, you can cook, which is not my thing, but there's also a restaurant. Uh, so you can order food while you're in the hostel if it's raining, which is perfect. But, yeah, if I'm the only one here, <laughs> it's not going to be this more sociable. Um, the guys are around that has limited English, so it's going to be hard to, to have conversations. But it's got a homely feel, this place. I like it. But I want to find, I want to find the roof. It's up there somehow. Find some stairs. I think I have found the rooftop. Oh, that <laughs> goes round. Ah, so that is 
the mountain, the volcano full of clouds, a nice little view from the top, a little sit down area, very slippy with all the rain. Nice to come down here and say up here. While the rain's not happening and just chill. Oh god, is that someone's house? Wow. Right, I'm hoping that before I leave that the clouds go. You can see the blue skies over there. Move! I want a view. I want a good uh, Instagram picture of that. The rain has started again. Oh, thunder and lightning. Oh, there's a better view. Ish. Is that smoke coming from the top or just under the cloud? The rain has stopped which means there's blue skies, it's starting to get dry again, so I've come back out. And I have facts and figures about this place. So, on the map, this is where Lake Gatsby is. Got a population of about 210,000, and the mountain, the volcano, is called Mount Mayon, which is, fully enough, the name of the hostel. Now it's got a bit of history, as it would do. It's named after Miguel Lopez Le Gatsby, who was the guy who sent in some friars to convert the guys round here into Christianity. So I'm gonna head back into the centre town, the city hall area. I is inside is a park of which I'm going to try and get in if it's still open. And the festival that is meant to be happening, and you can see all the bunting up there. I'll speak to a couple of more guys in the hostel who work there. They've never heard of it at all. I even had to get it on my phone and say, this is what it's called. Nope, absolutely nothing. So I don't think it's that big. Even though, everywhere you look, there is posters. Another reason that I like staying in hostels is the majority of them are usually in the center of town, which makes it easier to get around. Now this is a Friday night. I see it night time, it's, it's about half past five. I've got about an hour before it starts getting too dark. So uh, although it may seem like I'm in a car park, this is St. Gregory's, the Great Cathedral. A lot of people around basically just going through the gate, the gate behind this as a shortcut. Now, I've never heard of St. Gregory. Well, the first foundation for this place was built in 1587. And it looks like there's a service going on right now. Uh, that 
an old building. Complete with McDonald's across the road. So I thought I'd come over here and get a better view. Right, go and find somewhere else. Across the road from the church and McDonald's is somewhere that I'm trying to get into. Uh, lots of traffic everywhere. I can't get too close. Oh, that's across the road. Now this construction work at the moment, they're updated. This is where your taxes go. And what they're trying to do is build something like that with Mount Bay in the background and that looks really nice once it uh, once it gets finished so I'm going to try and get in there right now um, it's the old city hall I think because the new city hall is just down there look there is signs there's a festival going on. Do these people not see this? That happens every year. That's the city hall there. And I'm going to try and walk all the way around this fence line to see if there is an entrance to get in. Because I saw it earlier on. And there's the official seal at the top. City of Legazpi. Now behind me there was loads of people around the corner walking around here. Seems to be just me here. I've just left the fence line um, to come in here. All right. Um, it's only because I saw a statue with a man with a hat on. I think this is the Ministry of Affairs of Health, obviously. Ambulance around. So this marker is erected to commemorate the reconversion of the former municipal of Legaspi to the city of Legaspi. 1959. Alright. And then you've got a man with a hat on. There's no market to say who he is. Free Wi-Fi for all. I've not seen that on my um, my settings. Right, I am going to go in there. Even if I have to get a hard hat. Another building. So it looks like an official building. It's got at the top the official seal. And I'm still walking around trying to get entry into here, but there's no door gates yet. And I've still got traffic all the way around this. There's a lot of fast food establishments around here. Must be where all the coaches are. Right, and there is Mount Mayan. Really good view and that does look like smoke coming from its top. Wowzers. Right, so there's the gate there. Can't get in. Right, the reason I wanted to get in there was that is 
the Liberty Bell. It was a gift from the Americans in 1945. And basically it's a park and they're just redoing the park ready for the public. Uh, I think they've got a big uh, celebration next year for the city. But on the bell itself, and I'm reading this off um, uh, TripAdvisor, whenever a pressure knocks at your door, feel free to ring this bell. So it's a shame I can't get in. It's a shame I can't have the door open just so I can put my, my camera through. Maybe I'll have to come back next year to have a look. In fact, most stuff that tells you what to see in the city is all in there. Why? Just spread it out a bit. Oh well. Let's find something else. So I've come to another part of town. And to be honest, I'm just walking around and I'm lost already. But this is uh, Cathedral San, San Gregorio Magno Golden Jubilee Arch. Now I'm not too sure if I'm allowed to go in there because there's people earlier on were on guard. But hey ho. Oh, anyway, I'm, I'm on the other side of where the church is. Oh. I mean, sometimes it is good to just walk around to get lost, but not just when you walk around in circles. You can see it's getting dark now. The service is still going on. But the, the little, little cross at the top, And obviously over there is where the, the sealed off park is. It looks like there's a lot of uh, renovations going on and there's a seal at the top. So I think I mentioned earlier this is a place for uh, ad adventure tourism. So lots of things going outside of the city towards Mount Mayan. I suppose once they get the park all done, ready for the celebrations of uh, next year, and the only reason I know that is because I've seen the signs of 2025. Woo. But they do like their little seals. I mean, there's another arch. Now I've just seen a sign which is uh, really impressive. No smoking. Smoking public places frequented by minors, pregnant women and senior citizens is strictly prohibited. You see that top? That is the Gatsby City is 100% smoke free. Wow! And there's a, a fences. That is impressive. First time I've ever seen that before. And already I'm looking around to see if there's any cigarette butts on the on the ground. Can't see any. Oh to see buses trying to knock me over. Nope. nope. Wow. Right, I'm back at the hostel. Um, there's a lot more people in. Business is booming, but it's all families. And they've all got the family rooms. I've still got the uh, six man bunk to myself for the night. Bonus. It's been an interesting day. Um, I would say probably one of my laziest days for doing this this vlog. It didn't help the fact that I was on an overnight bus last night. I'm still tired from that. 
no excuse but tomorrow is a new day I need to start planning better I know I do I need to start doing more research I know I do so from now on these vlogs will be so much better that's a promise but if you've enjoyed this this video even if it's only a little bit then press that like button if you want to subscribe to see how much better I'm going to be in the future press that subscribe button but until next time I am going to have an early night tonight bye bye for now